believe that you cannot find a solution to the fiscal question, whether it is to have a federal island or to split into two independent countries, if you're not in control of yourself and if foreign powers intervene. I believe that if the situation is like that, that you're heading towards a Yugoslav separation style when foreign powers intervene and not in a peaceful style. I think that the Yugoslav type of separation already took place in the 60s and 70s. We are post sort of Yugoslav syndrome now. What Yugoslavia experienced in the 90s, mid 90s, we experienced it in the 60s. And it's gone, it's frozen. Now, the checkpoints are open. You are aware, right? The Greek Cypriots can come to the north, and Turkish Cypriots can go to the south. Since when? 2003. It's been seven years. Anybody killed one another? So there is a level of civility. Thank God. Thank God. But how much are people mixing? But I mean, people are, look, if this situation would be in a place where the GNP per capita was somewhere below $3,000, I would agree with you and the gentleman behind you that this war would be a very probable scenario. But look. GMP per capita in the South is what? Like $25,000? In the North, it's like $15,000, $16,000? When, think about this way. Maybe I'm wrong. This layman's logic. Inflation. Huh? Look at the inflation. Look at the inflation. The inflation rate. Yes. And it's full and it's steady. So, so the amount of money you get is different. So it's so, not so strict. No, no, no. What I'm saying is this. I don't understand economics myself, so um, I am economics idiot, by the way. But if you are bringing in money as a family, like fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars GNP per capita, whatever, you have your house, you have your car, you have even your second house, holiday house, whatever. You are getting your kids good education or mediocre education or whatever, you are paying for it or whatnot. Same thing in the South. Would you take arms and go and kill somebody else? Obviously. You have too much to lose. Exactly, because they know how to make the money for tourists. That's why I came here to this part of the island. Because if I go to Poland, I can go easily to the uh, Greek part. Right. Because all the uh, flights are there. That's yeah. why I came here. The thing is, they are not going to fight because they have too much to lose. But if you are living in an environment uh, where, where, where your future is not so bright, um, it's much more likelihood that you can take arms and fight. Um, No, I mean, in, in, in the former Yugoslavia case, you know it much better than I do, that Tito played the national nationalist card for so many years, kept it sort of together, the played one. Card, Nationalism card. No, uh, it was quite the opposite. He played the brotherhood and unity card, the citizenship No, but, but, but playing one nation, nation to the other one, right? The balance of power. Yes, the balance. That's yes. what I'm saying. And then when he's gone, what happened? 
Yeah. This is also president of each republic and autonomous province. But the Yugoslav, the idea of Yugoslav identity, that I'm not Serb, I'm not Croat, I'm not Bosnian, the Yugoslav identity prospered to a certain extent, but in parallel, in parallel, Serbian, Croatian, whatever identities or nationalisms also developed mm, in parallel. I think it was not uh, equally during Tito's Yugoslavia. Maybe Spela uh, from Slovenia could comment on that. I think that uh, it was always uh, in Serbia and uh, eastern and southern countries of the Republic of Yugoslavia, uh, more people declared themselves as Yugoslavs, while Slovenians and Croatians were always declaring themselves as Slovenians and Croatians, and they celebrated their religious holidays. Right. And in Serbia, actually, that was forbidden right. to celebrate Orthodox holidays. So it's but I mean, I, I have witnessed the uh, sort of nationalism that uh, that's, that that sprang in in where are you at? Where are you coming from? Right now? Belgrade. Belgrade. Where you are. I have friends, when I was uh, doing PhD, one of my best friends is Dragan Matic, who's, whose father was the uh, doctor of the uh, Red Star. Um, he's still keeping contact. But I have friends also from Croatia, and I have friends from uh, Bosnia too. And um, I've been to Bosnia, been to uh, Sarajevo and also Mostar. At one point, it's um, I have witnessed how people grew this sort of hatred against one another. I have a friend who was uh, whose name was Adnan from Bosnia. I wouldn't want to speak with Dragon. Dragon was the best guy. He escaped from former Yugoslavia. He didn't want to fight, but he didn't want to speak to a Serbian. Um, at one point, there was this uh, lady from Croatia. You know, we used to talk, and you know, in the coffee shop one day, I said, "Gudesu." Sorry, "Gudesu." What do you What do you call like? How are you? Kako se or "Gudesu" or I just forgot at that time. And she was like, "What are you saying?" I said, "Well, is isn't that?" How are you in Serbia, Croatia? And she said, I don't speak Serbia, Croatia. I said, what do you speak? She said, Croatia. Well, I said, I thought that Serbs and Croats, they speak the same language and they can understand that. She said, no. Well, I mean, I took linguistics before. <laughs> My first degree was in linguistics, and I knew that um, there was a language called Serbo Croatian, spoken by both Serbs and Croats, right? Even this, the language it's spoken still in. Spoken by, huh? It's still spoken by Serbs right. and Croats right. in Bosnia. But I mean, the degree. We just call it different. That's what I'm saying. That's nationalism. Yes, I know, but. In any case, I think there was a question from this side. Sorry. Yeah, I, I wanted to ask, but I don't want to, to take the time because all the people are want to go to eat, so I asked my friend behind me, but maybe you, if you say the same number, I would believe it because I didn't believe it from him. The question is uh, how much financial aid Turkey is giving a year to north of Cyprus? For many years, the average was about $250 million per year. Okay, it's much more than Per year, for, for many years. But in the last several years, it is probably more than 500 million. So more than half billion dollars a year. That's a lot. Well, I mean, depending on uh, who you are. I mean, no, I mean, I was just wondering if the Northern Cyprus economy would survive as a whole without the aid of Turkey. I mean, if. They, if Turkey would would not pay money, if Turkey what would, would happen? And how
in the last years. several in the last several years, the, the Turkish government, the new Turkish government, the AKP government, which I believe has been acting. Is this somebody else's? Yeah, this is somebody who left. This is not mine. Um, 